So we're here in Tilburg because we are doing a um, summer course, summer course on statelessness. because that's mm -hmm. your first time in Amsterdam. That's true. But we kind of also needed to factor in the time of the owner of this home. That's right. Yeah, because she only could see us uh, at around 6 p.m. Yeah, so we kind of had to spend time in Amsterdam anyway. Yeah. But it was sort of like, uh, yeah, convenient in the sense where, because it was my first time there. We've got a day to truly spend and see the beauty of uh, Amsterdam. That's, that is the plan. <laughs> So guys, what did you learn apart from paying 14 euros? 14.5 eh? Okay, right. And what did you learn? It's an industry you know, as a whole lah. Like Macham, you know, like it's not just simply paying for sex, but it's a... It's actually a industry. Yes. They yes. ask for you know respect towards the women. They talk about getting yourself checked and screened and all that you know. So they apply even everywhere else. They put signages everywhere. They get the respect. Respect these workers, you know. Because it's work for them. They too want some form of dignity. They want to feel dignified in that sense. A lot of them like sort of like try to survive by paying for their own uh, rent or tuition fees. It's one of those things where 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 if say you can't do anything else this is one way to go about it that kind of yeah, thing right. which is why it's made legal here isn't it mm -hmm. and yeah. i think one thing which, which saddened me because of course we've got girls is the fact that some of them were lured into this so it's sex trafficking you think something this we would like no are you in uh, any fantasies it hurts you know? exactly i think that's the whole point one day are you getting any are you getting excited so don't be too fast to judge yeah. Yeah. I'm part of the Me Too campaign by the way guys, so no. Just no. Hello! Hey! Salam alaikum! I'm Johnny from Constanza, Mamaya, Black Sea Never Sea, Be Romania. Yes, beautiful city. Yeah. I love it. Transylvania. Yes, yes, Dracula. Boss. Okay, guys, I'm leaving Amsterdam. Mm. Uh, I want to say something for anybody, yeah? Mm -hmm. First thing in this world, yeah? Open the heart to the God, and then anyone will be good, okay? Inshallah. 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 Amen. 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 See, patience pays off. You wanted me to get my cheese from the market, but I finally found the one that I personally like and sit down. I.e., she wanted to spend more. <laughs> That's all. Today marks the first day of the uh, gay parade, so it's national. It's Amsterdam's Pride Festival, and you can see everyone here who's LGBTQ parading around the streets, and it's going to last all the way to the third of August. Let's all be gay and happy, guys. So, are you happy? Are you gay? Come down right here, and then stand. We arrived actually on the dot, we were punctual, mm -hmm. and she was waiting for us here. How do you find the house? Well, for me, I think uh, if I had to factor in like financial reasons, I think it would have been a lot more costly for me to pay per night for a hotel room. Yeah. With this, like at least, you know, like there's the washing machine, there's the washer, I could iron my clothes if I could, and then like there's also the stove where you could bring your own food and cook, you know, and all that. So I, I felt that that was a good choice to consider. As much as I want to save money on food, so I always cook on the go, but also because I've got a very typical Asian tongue <laughs> where I crave for nasi. Wow, mama! So, what are you cooking? Fried rice, it's so nice. 
So I'm in charge of the rice. We had leftover white rice from last night's dinner. So I'm making uh, nasi goreng. Um, I made some curry. But she's cooking the vegetables. Oh, yeah, oh. The veggies. Yes. Beautiful. I don't know, maybe it's the weather or what, but we're like hungry. We're like constantly always hungry. hungry. For me, yeah, like, I'm always peckish, right? Everyone no, knows but I'm I not used to that anymore. So you are la kampung. Ala la hanta. Ala la hanta. Me namanya chanta. Okay, cut, cut. We're very fair, you know. We fair, we fair. She does the vegetables. I'll do this. You know, clean up. Joe just takes pictures. No, he doesn't actually. Actually, he cooks awesome. But today only, I'm just ada angin jadi gue nak masak. Like give give Joe a break lah. Is it Adabi, is it? Hmm. Have you heard the news Adabi song or not? The jingle? Hmm. 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 Hmm
how quiet the sound is. It's so quiet. I, I, I could easily vouch that someone next door can hear us talking. Or farting. <laughs> or anything else that makes noise. So how do you find the fun fair? It's the biggest... And it's the biggest I've seen ever. Oh, this is, is the Turbo Festival. Yeah. Wow. The, today's the last day. You know, right now, not only visually it's really nice, but it smells great here too. Yeah, actually, guys. It's the KFC, the guys. Food. It's oh, KFC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some, some, some healthy nice snacks. Healthy uh, snacks. Wow, wow. Well, there's apples coated with chocolate, so yes. we're having fruits. Oh, I'm, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> so can bear up. I, I, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I, I'm actually curious because it reminds me of Mary Poppins. There probably aren't words to describe your emotion. Now, 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 gentlemen, please. On the contrary, there's a very good word. Am I right, Bert? Tell them what it is. Right. It... Okay, right before she sang supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And she had apples. She she actually, I think it was sort of dipped in caramel, right? That was hers. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and yeah. Then, uh, but this one has chocolate, so... Nice. So you gonna which one you gonna order? The one, the one that's coated with chocolate. All right. Oh, the bananas. How about the bananas? I mean, after coming back from Amsterdam, I'm looking at bananas in a different way. Very healthy. Because chocolate comes from a fruit. Do you want a banana, banana tonight, babe? I want a banana now. I've got my chocolate banana. Wow. And it's still early in the morning. Yeah. How's it? Hi. Hi. Oh wow! Did you get new? Toys? Wow! Oh no, yeah, you've been wanting that. I know, I know. Mm. Banana. You see, mommy's having chocolate. So, how is it? I Apart love from, it. So, it because tastes like apple and chocolate. I love it because it's two of my favorite things. Oh. These are the two of my favorite things. Beautiful. Thump, thump. And it's really nice because you don't feel so guilty. Yeah. Because you have that chocolate taste and it's well mine, I like twigs. And you like bananas? And I do. <laughs> oh wow. How's it? Eh? Nice. Mm -hmm. How's it? It's smoked salmon. Sorry, I whacked it. No, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't leave any for Lisa. <laughs> no, I, I had some. It's so fine. how do you taste like? Like salmon? I mean, who does not love salmon? Yeah. When we were walking around the fun fair, there was this one particular stall that was selling a really antique and vintage um, fun fair toys, which is not toys that they would make in this day. I fell in love with the um, the detailing and the intricacies of of the toy, of the, the bunch of toys. Actually, it's it's in my phone. Oh my goodness! Like if only I could bring them back because there's no way for me to pack them inside. I didn't want to like you know bring back a damaged toy or a go-to <laughs> flight. You know what I mean? Mm. And I remember as Lisa and I was walking, because again, we went there quite early and things weren't really uh, functioning yet. It wasn't full, it wasn't a full blown festival yet. It was still very early. And, and the mm. one thing that both of us were saying, like, oh, our kids would enjoy this. Yeah. I think the kids would enjoy this more. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Hey, hey. Actually, this is my first Airbnb. Is it your first time? Wow. Yeah. So, this All is my first. third so time. Broke your virginity here. <laughs> of, of, Airbnb. of of habitating yeah. and uh, yeah, Airbnb. Airbnb. Airbnb and yes. Initially, when we were looking for Airbnbs around Tilburg, obviously we wanted to find somewhere that was close to the university. That's right. Okay, we're heading to our first day of class. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk to the end there to get no, a bus. We're going to walk to the end <laughs> there to get a bus. <laughs> I thought it was this way. Yeah, me too. By right, we were thinking of either taking the bus or cycling to school. Uh, for some reason, we decided to go with the bus and then the bus system just worked for one day. <laughs> and then we had like road closures. So we had to walk of, um, every single day back and forth, which is okay in the end because we ate so much. Yes, it's the only consolation that we have with the walking line, I guess. Yeah. You know, because like back in Malaysia, I didn't think that we would eat that much. I don't know if it's the weather, it must be the husband's cooking and yours. Yeah. I like your cooking too. It's very good. It's very good. If you take the bus, it will take 10 minutes to go. Um, but if you walk, it will be half an hour. Hot here is not exactly like hot in Malaysia, obviously, as you know, like it would be dry heat and then it's not humid, humid heat. So it's just something that, you know, we needed to get class. Even if, if, if one day was a tad bit hot, quite honestly, the, you don't actually feel the half an hour walk because we we can't stop talking. Yeah, we're like yakking all the way. Yeah, all the way.
We are here guys. Yeah. So nice. That's your beautiful building, okay. the Academia A. Yeah. Let's go in and register. Okay. It's um, hosted by Tilburg University. So that's why we are in this very, very quaint and beautiful town of Tilburg. So, how are you feeling? Well, it feels really good being here because, well, this is my first day at a university. So Lisa and I just got our reading material. You better study hard, eh? You better study hard. I didn't come here for nothing, okay? Yes, Daddy. Yes, Pa. <laughs> This is definitely I King's channel, but basically it revolves around my family. And if you enjoy watching our videos, press the subscribe button, please. Mm. Um, Guys, Bang. hi. Hey, have a sip of coffee. So you guys done all the part, huh? 